I just put 2,000 miles on my bike in about two months. This is a 2021 Gazelle C380 Plus. So this review is going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. The problems that I have with this bike after putting 2,000 miles on it. Um, and the things that I really like about it and things they should improve on. Now, my name is Mike with MyRealEstateDojo.com. I bought this bike with my own money, so that's a disclaimer. This is not a sponsor. This is not a manufacturer lend me down. This is not a dealer lend me down. So I have no incentive to sugarcoat this for you. That's why I'm called Mr. No Fluff. I'll tell it to you just like it is. On top of putting over 2,000 miles on this bike, let me show it to you real quick. Um, I also have another electrical bike, which is a Track Damani HP. That's a 2021 Track Damani HP. And I put on over 1,500 miles on that bike in the same three months. So this, so this bike, I had it for about two months. The other one was about three months. So I put a lot of miles on it. And on top of that, uh, I wrote a book about flipping bicycles where you could turn 100 bucks into $700 in a matter of days. And I flipped over, I would say, a thousand bikes, if not more. I haven't really counted, but a lot of bikes. I wrote a book about it and I helped students flip bikes. So I know a little something about bikes. I'm not a bike mechanic by any shape or mean, but every time I go out, I do about 50 miles. I don't even go out if I can't do 50 miles. And you can see today, I'm actually on a bike tour right now. I'm at the park, drop my kids off. Um, they're playing at the park and we do a quick review, 2000 mile review. Um, so let's dive in. Now, <clears throat> this is an amazing bike. Some of the things that make this bike really, really amazing, let me go ahead and dive into it, is that it doesn't have a chain. It has a belt system, right? This has a belt system, which is pretty amazing. I never had a belt system before. There are pros and cons about it, and I'll talk about it in a second. The other thing that makes this bike really amazing is that it has an internal hub, so there's really no maintenance required. And it has unlimited, uh, they call it infinity. Like, you know, you have infinite ranges between a set of ranges. So this is the new Da Vinci internal hub. It gives you a little display here where you can move it up and down. Again, there's advantages to this and disadvantages, right? Um, now, the other cool thing about this bike that real quick, download my free book, Real Estate Investing for Beginners, the ultimate starter guide at myrealestatedojo.com where I teach you how to find motivated sellers, buy their homes at a deep discount, and then have the seller become your own private bank. Subject to, get it now. One more thing, if you're looking for private one-on-one -on -one help when it comes to real estate investing, then consider joining my academy where you sit down with me one-on-one, -on -one. two, you get monthly coaching, three, you get access to my best-selling courses, four, you get access to my video library and then the list goes on for just $97 a month. Join me now at MrNoFluff.com. Lastly, the best six figure side hustle, bicycle flipping. Want to see how? Here's a behind the scene video how I did it. Go to the best side hustle dot MrNoFluff.com. Now let's get back to the content. Most bikes don't have is that it has the Bosch engine in it. And it goes up to 28 miles an hour. You know, it is a pedal assist, which means that I have to pedal. It's not like I hit, hit a button and it goes. The harder I pedal, the faster it'll go. Now, this bike is extremely dirty. I, I put, you know, 500 miles in the last, uh, I would say, three weeks. And I haven't had time to wash it. I have added some, you know, uh, add-ons. Like, I've added the suspension seat here. I added the uh handle okay and if you guys want more about that information i'll go ahead and leave it down i've added like pedals you know i got my bags on here now this is an amazing bike i had i'm going to talk about some of the problems i have in a second but overall if i compare this to my track demani hp my electrical bike which i paid eighty five thousand dollars for it again eight thousand five hundred with accessories that track was, was, excuse my language, a lemon. In the first like two weeks of ownership, I was in the shop so many times. I've actually done some videos about it. I had engine problems. I had aero problems. I had 
battery problems. My battery was stuck in there. I had, you know, rim problems, rim after spoke after spoke broke breaking. It was just simple riding, okay? Not even like off-roading to gravel. When I compare my track Demani to my Gazelle C380, this thing is an amazing, reliable tank, without a doubt, okay? It's truly, truly, truly amazing because in the 2,000 miles that I have, I've never been stuck. I never had to go call someone to come pick me up. I did get a flat one time, and I did have to walk it about 24 miles or something like that, 25 miles, but that's because I didn't know how to change the, uh, well, I didn't have the tools to unlock the back and fix my, my flat, and that's my fault. That's not, you know, and, and that's one of the disadvantages with the belt system with the uh, new DaVinci uh, hub is that it's more complex to fix a flat, unlike a traditional bike, which may take only five, 10 minutes, okay? So besides that, you know, and I got my very first flat at 750 miles, which is amazing. My other bikes, I have a track checkpoint um, gravel bike, which is a 2021 too. You know, what this is, with the bomb guard tires, it has flats roughly about every 100 miles. So when I compare it to the Schwabies, which was on this bike, um, I'm doing great um, for just getting a flat every 700 miles. Now, I did go in there and add some uh, tennis guard uh, liners because I didn't want to get a flat anymore, and that cost about 100 bucks plus 100 bucks to install it. Uh, which is pretty expensive, but hopefully I won't be able to get a flat for another 5,000 miles, and I'll update you guys on that if you're interested, okay? Now, this bike, besides being like a tank and reliable, it also has a great geometry, okay? What I mean by that is that if you're doing a lot of miles like me, man, the, the geometry on this is amazing. Like, you know, in America, because this bike is made in Netherlands, in America, we have these like little sport rocket bikes, and those are very, very uncomfortable, okay? But I didn't know any better because that's what everyone has and like monkey see, monkey do. I did what everyone else did. Bought the same kind of bikes everyone else had. Until I got to this gazelle made in Netherlands and I realized, wow, I was being pretty stupid to sit in a bike like that for such a long mile because I love to do bike touring. You know, that's what I do. That's the only reason I got this bike. Every time I go out, I do 50 miles on it. So. Let's talk about some of the things that I like about this bike. Number one, the geometry is amazing. Number two, they use reliable parts. For example, if you look at Track, if you look at Specialized, and I'm not disrespecting these companies, but they, they try to cut corners and make maximum profits, which means that they have like, you know, they use low end parts for your tires, for your grips. And a lot of it's like in-house brands that they, you know, they have their own versus using like tires from Schwabi, which is like world renowned best tire company in the world. Or these grips, these Aragon grips, they're like truly amazing where, you know, this company, they give you good stuff right off the bat. You don't have to buy a bike and then spend another thousand bucks, 500 bucks adding accessories, upgrades because the tires were like cheap as cheap as mug. Right? Or you don't have to get change your grips and spend a hundred bucks because cheap as mug, right? So right off the bat, I like the quality components they put in into the bike. Okay. And it's a very which makes it a very, very reliable bike. And that's the whole reason that I'm doing this video because I'm a fan of this bike. I mean, I would definitely recommend it. Not only have I recommended it to my wife, which bought one, we also bought one for my brother. So we are now three deep into gazelle and we've been extremely happy with them there has been some problems which i'll get into in a second but some of the things i like about this bike is very reliable great parts great geometry uh, and it hasn't like never let me down it just has started every time now let's talk about some of the things that i think that needs to be improved on because you know this bike is meant for touring but you only have one water bottle holder okay that doesn't make sense uh, so, you know, I know you can put some in the front, you know, add on, but I didn't want to do that because it gets in, in my way. So what I've done is I just bought one of these big containers of water and I fill it up and I put ice in there and it has worked out for me pretty good. But I wish it had like two or three uh, cup holders, right? Because, you know, with this kind of bike, you need it. Um, 
I think another improvement that could have been done to this is that this system right here, which controls us, your mode and your see how fast you're going. I wish I had Bluetooth where you can upgrade, you know, the Bosch engine frameware versus taking to the shop because they're, they have other modules that have Bluetooth, right? Uh, and so they could have just easily add it to this one, you know? I mean, it's not a big deal. This, this is a pretty good module because it's pretty simple, minimal as it gets to the point. Um, I have added this mirror. Uh, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm not sure if it shakes a little too much. This bag I've added on there, I'm, I'm happy with that bag. You know, these Orly bags are freaking amazing. No, no joke, guys. These are like one things you buy and you have for the rest of your life. And I like companies like that. I don't like companies that make inferior products that go obsolete in a year or two. I like companies that I can buy something and then my kids can have it too, dude. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, making amazing products that last a lifetime versus just, you know, the company is only worried about their profit margins. They're only worried about how to make more money. So they, they put out inferior products that break in a year after the warranty's over. I don't like that, man. So these or Orly's made in Germany are amazing. So notice that everything that's made in other countries like Germany, Netherlands are pretty reliable because their philosophy of corporation profits are a little different than, than America, okay? Um, especially the spike. Now, um, let's talk about, you know, a couple of the things I like about this bike is we talk about the improvement. The only improvement I see is just, just to add extra water bottles, man, because it sucks only having one water bottle. Uh, and then two is not having Bluetooth. Let's talk about some of the cool things, the secondary cool things about this bike that I like is the brake system. You know, you have actually four calibers in the front brakes. You got four calibers in the back brake. Most brakes are just one caliber or, you know, um, and, or two, like my track checkpoint has two, my Damani has two, and having four is like so powerful especially when you've got your bike fully loaded and you're going fast. So, you know, you kind of need that. You know, it does come with hydraulic disc brakes. The kickstand is pretty amazing. I never had any problems with it. Uh, it holds my stuff up. You know, one of the disadvantages of this bike is that it is pretty heavy, guys, especially the C380+, uh, plus because with the timing belt, with the Da Vinci hub, it makes it... This bike is like at least 62 pounds without bags. Right now, this bike is weighing at least 100 pounds uh, because I have a lot of stuff in the in my bags. Plus, I'm carrying water, which weighs a lot. So that's the only one of the disadvantages. It's pretty heavy, but you know, if it could be a little bit lighter, I would be happy with it. But I wouldn't want to sacrifice it not being a tank for a lighter because you know, for what I'm using it for, you know, I want real reliability more than you know looking cool and stuff you know what i mean um now let's get into what kind of problems i have with this bike you know um none of these problems are major problems they're just like personal opinions okay uh, for example that um after a little while my battery starts making little creaking sounds okay you know is that a big thing no i had my track demani the battery wouldn't come out, right? I mean, now that's a big thing where this one is just making a little creaking sound. Sometimes it makes it, sometimes it doesn't. So it's not a really big thing. Another problem that I had, and this is very, very important, is that if you're trying to make a buying decision, don't go to the Facebook uh, Gazelle groups because that thing is rigged. The admin won't allow you to post problems there, okay? So if you're a buyer and you're thinking about buying, don't go there because is rigged they're not going to allow you to you know it's, it's like a dictatorship they won't allow you to post negative stuff about the bikes okay which is very very disappointing because i used that form to make my buying decision not realizing that it was rigged only that after i bought the bike and i had like a couple of issues that when i posted there that i noticed is always getting deleted by the admin which is pretty much a dictator guys okay i i was very very disappointed about that so that is something to be watch out for is that the facebook groups is for gazelle is uh manipulated is you know uh fraud because they control only positive flow information 
which now inhibits buyers to make a good buying decision because you're only seeing the positive. Now, there's other bike forms that I'm on from different brands and they let you post the negative stuff, which is awesome because, you know, nothing is perfect in life, right? Uh, another small issue I had was that, like this suspension, this little button, the preload was stuck, it wouldn't move. Uh, I took it to the shop, they quickly fixed it. It wasn't a big deal, it was just stuck. They just had to uh, put a little elbow grease into it. I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to break it. Um, what other things that I have with it that, that went wrong with it? Um, yeah, you know, when I bought it, the timing belt wasn't adjusted correctly. You know, that's the dealer's fault. You know, it was very, very loose. Um, so that's the other thing you should watch out for. If you get the timing belt, you got to make sure that you go to a shop that knows how to work on it because I've gone to multiple shops. They didn't know how to work on the bike. And, you know, I, you know, and they didn't know how to fix the timing belt. So that's, that's where I am. Now, um, you know, what other problems that I have with it? You know, I really haven't had any problems with it that again, have left me high and dry. I have had, you know, little knickknacks that might be very, very minor, but overall, I give this bike a 9.9 .9, guys, because this bike is reliable. It hasn't let me down. Uh, which is the most important thing for me, you know, I mean like I, I don't want to be doing bike tours and Having problems not figuring out what I should do. Okay. I, I don't want to do that. Okay, so uh, Overall, I'm very very happy with this bike. I've installed the hitch over here so I can pull my kids uh, I mean now that I have over 2,000 miles on this. I'm like this is a good bike because uh, at first I wasn't really happy with the da Vinci. I wasn't really happy with the um timing belt but as time has gone by and i put more and more miles on it i'm starting to appreciate the timing belt because if i had a chain i would have had to already replace it twice that would have been over 300 400 expenditure with labor um chains are like 50 60 bucks uh easily for good ones and so you know now i'm seeing the benefits now some of the disadvantages of having this belt is that you know, it's not as efficient, ladies and gentlemen. Let me be honest with you. Like, you know, they, they kind of like, dealers kind of like, you know, rub it off. But having a belt is not as efficient as having a chain. And what does that mean? What does that translate for you as an end user? Well, one, it's harder on your knees when you first start off. Maybe for the first six weeks, you're going to have knee pains because your knee's not used to pushing so hard on this. And, and I'm very, you know, again, I ride a lot of miles, so... I'm not a you know obese person on, on my bed, so I can tell you that it hurt my knees for a little bit. But again, after after you know six weeks, eight weeks, my joints got stronger um, pushing on this. The other thing is that negativity with the belt is that because it's not efficient, what happens is it drains a lot more of your battery. Like we have three other gazelles, we go on you know the same 60 mile ride, and I have to charge up where my other compadres they don't have to charge up because they have the belt i mean they have a chain versus a belt so there are some negative consequences of having a chain i mean having a belt and a da vinci hub which is like you're less you know you know when you free free falling you know it's like you're, you're not as fast as with, with a chain you know it's more resistance when you pedal but but after you know for example it gets better as 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 you break that the hub in like for the first 500 miles it's very very crazy but then it starts getting better and better okay um so you know some of the cons of having a belt but also has benefits that you know you don't have to lube it you don't have to clean it you don't have to maintenance it so much i have had two over 2162 miles never had to you know visit a shop to adjust a derailleur I've never had to degrease my bike never had to lube it up uh never have to replace a belt okay um so there are benefits now some of the other things i like about this bike is that you know this bike is fully loaded it comes with fenders it comes with lights brake system kickstand uh fast motor you know good grips right off the bat front lights back lights i mean the, the lights adjust you know you have a display uh and you know nothing was like you know cheap on this bike even the suspension you have the lockout system here um out. you're able to adjust you know there has a little adjuster right here on the bottom you can adjust um and, and, and you know like things like that okay 
um, that makes this a very, very great home run deal. Okay, so the only improvements that I would really suggest is that they add more water bottles, Bluetooth, which is Bosch, not Gazelle. And man, honestly, that's it, man. This is an amazing bike. I'm super stoked that I bought this thing. Uh, I've, I've, I've owned a lot of different bikes. Just like this year, I've bought maybe like five different different bikes, you know, um, from touring bikes to electrical bikes. And so, you know, I'm not a new kid on the block. So when I'm telling you this, this is a great, amazing bike. The only warning is the Facebook groups, which is scandalous um, and deceptional. But besides that, the admin, uh, some Asian guy, I forgot his name. Man, he's like a dictator. Besides that, Gazelle's doing it right, man. Gazelle's doing it right. Uh, again, I bought this bike with my own money. This cost me about five grand. Um, so pretty good deal. This bike is not as fast as the one with the chain. Let me put that out there. It does go 28 miles an hour. You got to pedal really, really hard. I mean, you'll be breathing hard. And guys, like I, this this season, I lost two pan sizes. You know, I eat healthy, but you know, going 50 miles multiple times a week. You know, I've lost two pan sizes. I wasn't trying to. I'm I'm still eating a lot, but amazing. I'm getting healthier. I feel better. Uh, I love riding bikes. I sold my SL 550, and you know, and I'll, I've been riding bicycles. Couldn't be happier, guys and ladies. So if you, if you have any questions about the bike, don't hesitate to ask. I'm here for you. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks, guys. Peace.